the hottest food trend of the year is no longer Emily Mariko's salmon or noodles in a jar. It's the bedazzling girl dinner with a side of cereal and a side of air. Uh, did I also mention cereal? This is my meal. I call this girl dinner. Girl, girl, girl dinner. dinner. Girl dinner. Girl, girl dinner. dinner. Everything in today's woke society has their proper pronouns. Like, that cake is beautiful. She is glowing. That dress is so cute. She is giving. And oh my gosh, three grapes. Yeah, that's girl dinner. That is right. Not all dinners are made equally. Some are American, some French, some Italian, some Mexican, and some are girl. If you haven't seen this trend on TikTok yet, you're going to have a blast in today's video. When it popped up on my feed as a trending sound, I I was beyond confused as to what a girl dinner is. Some call it a few slices of watermelon, some call it a bowl of oats, some call it a cheese stick. I call it struggling to survive. So let's talk about one of the most disturbing trends on TikTok yet. We'll explain what in the world is a girl dinner, why is the trend so disturbing, and how the trend reveals the not so subtle gender stereotypes of how women should eat. Because as you guessed it, there is also a boy dinner and husband meal as well. This is my meal. I call this girl dinner. Girl, girl, dinner. girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl, girl dinner. First, WTF is a girl dinner. Like the Washington Post said, girl dinner is everything and nothing. It started as many viral things do as an offhand joke by a TikToker, Olivia Mayher, sharing a video of her dinner, an assemblage of bread and cheese and grapes and cornichons, calling it something a medieval peasant might have eaten. Some people artfully arrange olives, cheeses, fruits, and meats on a plate, while others opt for slightly more lo-fi options like chicken nuggets and chocolate milk. The overarching theme is the same. Girl dinner is an assemblage of ingredients so low effort it might not be considered a proper or well-rounded meal. The trend started this summer and has already gained 942.1 million views. And I actually discovered this trend through a filter that was supposed to predict what your girl dinner is. And so of course I had to try it and both times I got some crazy creative results. This is my meal. I call this girl dinner. Girl, girl, dinner. girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Oh, girl dinner. Tiddly, you silly girl. Wow. Orange juice, oatmeal, and granola? Gosh, I've been thinking about this gourmet meal since the last month. Two Michelin stars for the least. Yet, it seems like for the rest of TikTok, most people are saying how crazy accurate the filter prediction is. This is so accurate. Like, yeah, of course it's totally normal for girls to eat ice cubes and vitamins for dinner. So you grab three random ingredients and call that a dinner. And sure, birth control plus kimchi is totally totally a proper meal. The above was sarcasm in case if you can't tell. Girl dinner! So in case if you haven't guessed it, there are layers and layers of problems to this trend. And yes, we will go through all of them. Before we talk about why girl dinner is so disturbing, I want to thank our sponsor, BetterHelp. Navigating an era so heavily impacted by digital media can be so draining for the mind. I know I certainly have been negatively impacted so many times. Going to therapy helped me move through one of the hardest times in my life as documented in the healing diaries. If you're just a human living in this world and is going through a hard time, therapy can give you the tools to approach your life in a very different way. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and accessible. The platform makes finding a therapist easier because it is online and remote. By filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. It is easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. There's a link in my description, betterhelp.com slash Zoe Unlimited. Clicking that link helps support this channel and also get you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. Why girl dinner is so disturbing. I call this a genuinely concerning trend that glamorizes eating disorders. Girl dinner is breeding negative thoughts around food and here's why. Wow. 
Where do we even begin with why this trend is so problematic? Actually, before we begin, I do want to acknowledge that this trend is supposed to be lighthearted and taken as a joke for we're sometimes just too tired to make a three course meal. But as a trend with almost 1 billion views and people using the supposed joke as a guide to what they should be eating for dinner, girl dinner is normalizing a lot of problematic behaviors. First of which is normalizing unhealthy eating. This is my meal. I call this girl dinner. Girl, girl, dinner. girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. In TikTok world, a proper girl dinner looks something like a pure block of cheese. Chips with cheese, cup noodle, coke and chips, cereals and crackers. Mm. Quote, my girl dinner was goldfish, chips, and a piece of bread. Like girl, where are you getting your nutrients from? From the air in the bags of your chips? Self-treat is nice with snacks that you enjoy, but leave the words girl and dinner alone. For the super young demographic on TikTok that is still so impressionable, it will normalize eating only junk food as the proper way to adult, or worse yet, to see it as the way to eat as a girl. Hearts of palm with mustard broccoli with mustard chicken apple sausage with cottage cheese and mustard <laughs> Second, it's normalizing eating very little. String cheese with strawberries and two eggs is a standard girl dinner. So is a plate of beautifully placed crackers with mini cubes of cheese. So is a pack of cigarettes and a drink. Or not eating at all. This is my meal. I call this girl dinner. Girl, girl, dinner. girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. I know this is a joke, but hashtag sleep for dinner might be taken at face value. And judging by the comment section, it kind of is. Where people are saying, I feel so seen, exclamation, exclamation mark. Quote, sleep for dinner does hit the spot. Quote, my kind of dinner. Quote, my favorite meal of all times. Although this is not the original intention of the trend, it somehow evolved into just girls showing off how little they eat. Letting the term girl dinner be a cute label for disordered eating. And making this type of eating genderized. What's even worse is that what started as a joke or satire suddenly became a food guide on TikTok where people are letting girl dinner filter control what they eat, no matter how ridiculous the suggestions get. Because how this activity is trending more and more as it gets repeated, what started as a joke eventually gets normalized, where people start to associate a few slices of apple as a girl dinner or begin to expect that this is what girls eat for dinner when they are alone by themselves. Basically a romanticization of disorder eating by suggesting that it is cool and normal to only eat a few small bites for dinner. Normalization is broadly defined by modern sociologists and psychologists as a process that makes behaviors and ideas seem normal, be it through repetition, ideology, propaganda, and so on. Once a behavior is defined as normal within a culture, those that stick to the norm are protected or even even rewarded and those that deviate from the norm may face challenges such as conflict, shame, and even social isolation. Which is why this trend is so dangerous. Once it becomes normalized, that girls only need to eat a few pieces of fruit, crackers, and cheese for dinner, girls will start to feel pressured to not deviate from the norm of eating so little. How women should eat. The girl dinner trend was not the first to insinuate how women should eat. Unrealistic expectations from social media and traditional media have long created an ingrained ideal of how and what women should be eating. Girl dinner just just not so subtly hints that young women default to eating dainty, snacky meals as a reflection of gender stereotypes that have existed for centuries. That's my ideal meal. This is my dinner. I call this girl dinner. Can we make a trend called woman dinner that's like a burger and fries and like real food? I would be hungry after that. In film and TV, you never see a slim and beautiful woman eating a large meal that looks packed with calories. Only when the female characters are hitting such a low point in their lives do they eat a portion size beyond the dainty, elegant meals. I love these sausages. You should try one. Go on. Delicious. Mm. 
Hang on, you didn't. So, look. Go, Jess. The other female characters who do eat a decent or sometimes even an exaggerated amount of food are often for creating comic relief and are usually not the characters written to be the beauty ideal that the female audiences wish to identify with. From my personal experience, I had a lot of shame, both internally and externally around how much I eat. Even before I became more active that naturally required me to eat more to nourish my body, I grew up with a lot of comments both from guys and girls on how I eat more than the average girl. This sounds extremely pick me, but you have no idea the number of times I had to leave a dinner table feeling still a little hungry because I didn't want to be perceived as someone who eats as much as a guy because that made me feel really embarrassed. It made me feel very non-feminine. And girl dinner just further deepens the shame for women eating more than a graceful tiny portion. That could be a fitting amount for some, but certainly not for all. I'm all for a snacking dinner, okay? I love a good graze. However, that literally could never be me, okay? I need a 14 pound tub of pasta. I need an entire salmon, like the entire fish, with with two potatoes and a quart of vegetables. Looking at these pictures that are popping up on my view page, I'm like, that's your dinner? That is a 3 p.m. trip to the kitchen for me. Like that, what? In addition, the way that the humble girl dinner is based on arranging different types of snacks and foods on the plate for supper and just calling it a day reinforces the trope that women only cook for others out of a sense of duty because she herself doesn't eat much. Yes, we are way past the days of assuming that women should be cooking for their husbands, but this fad is really just another way of reinforcing the trope that when a woman is cooking for a man, she makes a robust meal, but when she's alone, she has a plate of cheese and crackers. Compared to the boy dinner online, this is not to get confused. This one's for you. Full of protein and meat and husband dinner made with so much thought and prep and love. Girl dinner or even mom dinner almost hint that women aren't worthy of eating full proper meals. Quote, if you're not eating your kids leftovers over the sink, then we can't be friends. This is my meal. I call it mom dinner. <laughs> hashtag moms of TikTok. Hashtag girl dinner. And although I am mad that the internet calls something as sad as a bowl of cereal, like not even the good type. As girl dinner. I know from experience that this is sometimes true, but not just for girls. Even though my choice of food is not cereal, I am definitely guilty of sometimes not taking good care of myself, where during my off days, I eat microwave food or not the healthiest takeouts. In the end, girl dinner serves as a reminder that yes, those days of low effort exist because we are all human, but we as girls deserve so much better than just having mediocre snacks termed as our go to dinner. We deserve to eat good quality food at the amount our body needs and be able to enjoy it without shame. And that is all I have for today. Hope this reminded you to eat well and take good care of yourself regardless if you're a girl or a guy. If you're new here, I do a lot of commentaries and personal growth videos, so be sure to check them out and I will see you next week. Thank you.